Now the Commonwealth is waiting on a historic sentencing. Former Governor Bob McDonald walked into federal court in Richmond today. It's the same place a jury found him and his wife guilty on multiple counts of public corruption back in September. This time around, McDonald will learn whether or not he'll spend time in jail. The sentencing hearing began at 10. It's our top story all day long. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Don Roberts. Thank you for joining us. Team coverage of the sentencing begins right now on Wavy News 10 Midday with 10 your side's Andy Fox. And Andy, we understand there was a major development in the courtroom today. There's now a change in the sentencing guidelines for McDonald. You know, Governor McDonald, former Governor McDonald, has been dealing with this for almost a year. Today, he had probably the most significant thing positive to happen to him in almost a year. What happened was the number of years he's looking at, the federal guidelines, he was looking at 10 to 12 and a half years. That was reduced, reduced to six and a half to eight years. Now, this is what it dealt with. It dealt with the uh, kind of the way they were judging his potential obstruction of justice on the stand. Judge James Spencer said, and I'm quoting here, he said, I went over this again and again in my head. The government was arguing that he lied on the stand. He said, I went over this again and again, and I am sure of these things as his subjective view as to what he thought. I don't think it is appropriate to punish him for putting on his case. I respect that he put on what he thought was going on his in his head and then James Spencer did something that a lot of people weren't expecting to happen. He actually reduced the number of years to six and a half to eight that Bob McDonald is looking at. And I caught up with Governor McDonald and asked him when he was going into court today, what is the most appropriate sentence for you? Governor, what would a fair sentence be? What do you think of Everybody sentence? be careful. I'll uh, I'll talk to you all afterwards, okay? Do you think a fair sentence would be community service? Can you tell me about the dinner last night, Governor? It was good. Thank you. Okay, and then also we were uh, talking with uh, State Senator Jeff McWaters, and he was talking about how they uh, were, that he met with him last night, and uh, that the family actually had dinner together. Also on the stand, someone from Presi uh, the president of Operation Blessing International talking about a job that Bob McDonald could have right now going to Haiti or going to Bristol to help the poor. And they are bringing that on and putting that on as evidence because they are wanting him to have community service instead of going to prison. And the president of Operation Blessing said to put someone like Bob McDonald in prison is like burying something valuable, that there are a lot of things that Bob McDonald can do better than just being in prison, although the judge is under a lot of pressure to give him some prison time because the jury voted unanimously, of course, that he was guilty, guilty on 11 counts. And so the judge is also feeling pressure to give him some prison time. Don? Hey, Andy, we understand there was a crowd outside the courtroom this morning waiting for the doors to open. Hundreds of people, including some key people like Janet Kelly, McDonald's former secretary of the Commonwealth, Wayne Ball, his spiritual advisor. But we also understand his wife, Maureen McDonald, is there, it appears to be, in support of her husband because at times during the trial they seem to be pitted against each other. Right. Uh, and, and that was interesting. What Jeff McWaters was bringing up is that the family gathered last night for dinner and they had this dinner, all of them. And I am told by Jeff McWaters that Maureen McDonald, the wife, was there and that she was probably going to be here in support, that there is a great deal of support for Bob McDonald, even from Maureen McDonald. And of course, we know that they've been in adversarial positions right now. But at this time of sentencing, Maureen McDonald did walk into the court. She was walked into the court by her two sons, uh, Bob. Bobby and Sean, and uh, she is in the court listening to the testimony. But what was really significant today is that this, the number of years that Bob McDonald is looking at is now reduced. And Andrew Sachs, uh, a very famous defense attorney in town, thought that Bob McDonald was looking at eight years. That would now be at the higher end of the range for sentencing guidelines that he now faces. He faces six and a half to eight years now. The most significant thing to happen to Bob McDonald in the last year positively in what has been the most tragic year of his 60 year life. And of course, we are on the threshold of history here in Virginia that not only a governor, a former governor, 
in that respect, uh, found guilty of crimes committed while he was in office and also sentenced. First time ever that has happened in the Commonwealth of Virginia. In Richmond, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. All right, Andy Fox, thank you. We'll be checking back with you. Now let's take you through the rest of our team coverage elements. Aaron Kelly and Joe Fisher also left for Richmond early this morning. Joe is updating Wavy.com's live blog and tweeting new information. Aaron is reaching out for interviews and monitoring everything that is happening in the courtroom. And stay with 10 on your side for coverage of the sentencing. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the latest updates on air and online. When the judge makes a decision, we will break into programming. In the meantime, you can refresh your knowledge of the case on Wavy.com.